the table very, very consciously. We're going to start by tilting the pelvis and allowing the low back to sink in. See how I'm starting with the low back. And then bending elbows, shoulders back, and I bring the back of the cage in, shoulder blades close together. So I'm not really focusing on head buttocks up. What I'm focusing is spine gently in, which changes a little bit the way we experience and the intention we put in the motion. And then slowly tuck tailbone, but try to push low back out. Extend through the arms, bring the chest in, and then a little bit chin, but try to push the back of ribcage out. So we are trying to really round the back as we want to feel low back and back of ribcage. So tilting pelvis is more intention for us into the low back. So you see, I don't change the arms, I don't change the head, I'm just tilting pelvis. And now I feel my low back moving down, moving in, out. And then bend the elbows, shoulders back, slowly chin out, emphasize squeezing shoulder blades in. Now, tuck tailbone, stretch low back, push on, stretch back of ribcage, tuck chin, round the back. Good, start by tilting pelvis, just pelvis. Bring low back in, then bend elbows, shoulders back, shoulder blades in, and then the head. So you can actually feel like a wave-like motion. Okay, then tailbone in, low back out, then arms back of ribcage, then the head. So you feel like a wave-like motion. Then pelvis back, low back in, then elbows, shoulders back, shoulder blades in, and then the head. So we kind of break the motion to three movement. Tailbone in, low back out, Arm stretching, chest in, rounding back, and then chin in. Three motions. Pelvis back, lower back in. Bend elbow, shoulders back, shoulder blades in, back of rib cage in. Head up. Okay, so let's repeat a few more times. Tailbone, lower back. Arms, chest, rib cage. Head, chin in. Pelvis rotating, lower back in. Bend elbow, shoulder blades back, shoulder blades in. Chin out. Last time. Tailbone in, low back out. Stretch the arm back of rib cage out. Head inside. Pelvis back, low back in. Bend the elbow, shoulders back, shoulder blades in. Raise the head up. Buttocks to heels. I hope you felt it because we're going to do it in transition of up dog to down dog, same thing. Give a little bit more wave-like motion into the spine. Stretch the fingers out, rest the forehead on the ground. Let's rest here for a few moments, breathing into the spine. Okay, next variation, same thing. Up on palms and knees, send the palms a little bit further forward and the knees slowly a little bit further back. So now we're going to start with the wave. How we did? Tailbone in, right? Pushing to the arms, rounding the back. Shifting forward, right? Tailbone in, now. As you drop the pelvis, feel low back moving in. You don't have knee, really need to up, push the pelvis back because when you go down here, low back is already in. So we're going to roll shoulders back and we're going to bring the back of rib cage in, shoulder blades in, and then chin up. Got it? Good. Now, tailbone in, push low back out. Arms stretching back of rib cage out, head in, going back. 
good. Elbow on in, shifting forward, head stays in. Dropping down, feeling lower back, arching. Shoulders back, back of ribcage, arching, end of motion, chin up. Okay? Wonderful. Raise the pelvis, stack tailbone, stretch arms, chin in, go back. Next motion, we're going to change the way that we're going to do, and we're going to do once from the pelvis, once from the head. So we can make the transition into the up dog, down dog waves. So I go in, rounding back, shifting forward. Dropping pelvis until I feel all back sinking in, right? Shoulders back, back of ribcage in, chin up. Got it? Now comes the wave on the opposite direction. So we start chin in, push through the arms around the upper back. Don't lift pelvis yet, just push upper back. Now I let the wave go from the upper back, tailbone in through the lower back. And then I go back, head stretch. Shifting forward, tailbone in, chin in, round the back. Pelvis dropping, shoulders back, head up. Chin in, push the upper back, use the arms only, chin in. Continue with the upper back, lower back, shifting back. And um, we can do this way in different variation and choosing the most simple one because it can go also in few waves in the same motion. Right now, let's simplify. Chin in, tailbone in forward. Feeling lower back, climbing to upper back, and then head up, head in. Feeling upper back as I push it, going down and all the way back. Last time, chin in, tailbone in forward, pelvis drop, lower back, shoulder back, chest, chin. Ah, get the upper dog, get up dog, get so much better. Chin in, push the arms round the back, tailbone in, go back, stretch your back, get stretch, rest. Just to help us a little bit, fall to the ground and roll on your skull. Little back and forth. To release the spine, to create wave-like motion in the spine. Okay. The next one. A little bit more demanding, you can take a break if you need, is to do the wave, this simple wave, to the up dog, down dog. So we're going to start with down dog, head buttocks up, toes in. Then we're going to go, I think I push pelvis back, so I'm arching the lower back, and then I'm looking to bring the back of rib cage in, squeezing shoulder blades, head in the beginning is up, and then I can put it more natural, neutral. So in the down dog, it's kind of a little bit spiny, not over out, just lengthen and a little bit in. From here, we start chin in, tailbone in. So I'm rounding my back as I shift forward to the palms. Here, I'm starting to drop the pelvis, chin stays in, until I feel my lower back. That's a nice squeeze, ouch. And I'm going to roll shoulders back. If you have to, put the knees down. If you don't, if you have to, knee down, toes out. If you don't, stay up here, like this, small sun salutation. Shoulders back, chin chest up, and we get this up dog. From here, chin in, push through the arms around the back, and then let a wave go through. Back in a round back to the down dog. Lengthen. If you're not sure, take a moment to look. I start chin in, tailbone in, shifting round forward. Chin deep inside. And I go lower back, pelvis goes, shoulders back, chest, chin. Chin in, push the back, go through your spine. See, rounding the back all the way back, 
and resting in a gentle spine in, in the down dog. Knees softly bent so the lower back can stay slightly in. And again, let's do five more. In rounding, we need a break. Take one. You start to really enjoy the wave like motion through the spine. It's too much on the arms. Take a break, rest, or do the variation we did before, the one with the table, remember? This is the third one. Oh, so good. Last one. Knees down. Forehead to ground, palms along the side of the head and roll on your skull. Slowly and softly. If you need to rest before, rest before. This will allow you to go a little bit deeper now into the upper back.